Hey everyone, welcome to Coast to Country. Today's video, we're gonna get these trailer lights installed so we can get this um, boat on the road and give it a bit of a test run. So I've got to mount them up there, run the cable down through this pipe here. And on the other side, I've got to put a number plate light on here as well. So the first problem we run into is basically the whole spacings on here are different and the cable comes out in the center. Whereas on the back here, the original lights they had Holes are different and the cable comes out at the top more. So we've got to obviously drill a new hole for a bolt and a hole for where the cable comes through. So it's not too hard. We just measure the existing lights here. And we just measure across what the centers are. Line that up there is pretty much 55 mil center to center. So we can just come around here. I'll use this hole here already. Let's come around to this side. 55 is a center there So we'll just put a little mark on the side here where that's got to be So I need to drill there for our bolt hole and then In the center of those two holes. We'll drill a big hole Basically right there for this cable to come through and it's only got to be about that big So we'll get those drilled do the same on the other side and then we can start running some cables through Pilot hole for this one. Get a, get a bigger drill bit. Just for where our cable comes through. And we'll do the same the other side. Okay, so just um, I've wired up a bit of extension to this um, number plate light. It's basically just had a little, a little um, short wires that come with it. So I've just insulated it, put a bit of extra tape on the end where it may rub on the pipe work we're doing. A bit of heat shrink, stick that on there, and then give her a bit of a shrink. Yeah, not in it too much. So my plan is to mount this um, down the tubing of those guide rails we made so it'll um, keep it right out of the water line when we're launching a boat and keep the weather right off it. Alright so we get a number plate light, um, what the plan is we'll thread that up through here to the top of the pipe. So the whole idea of this um, pipe tubing system uh, is for two reasons like I said previously, it's to guide the boat on when you're beach launching but it's also the main reason is to keep salt water out of your wiring. So that'll go like that. You could put a um, gasket in there, a uh, grommet, sorry, in the little hole that we drilled. Uh, in fact, I might even do that if I've got room. That will stop that cable rubbing. Or we're gonna fill that up with Sikaflex anyway. So that'll just go like that. Screw that in there. We've run our number plate light and we'll seal that up. And then that comes out the top here and we'll join that up to our tail light wiring on our left-hand side light. Right, so it's just in a matter of threading the cable through now, put a grommet in here um, and also one in the pipe where the back of this cable is going to go. So we thread our cable through, um, before I let it go all the way down, I'll stick some Sikaflex on here. No big surprise to anybody, just helps seal it even more. And we'll pop that through, hopefully I'll line up the holes properly, making sure our little this has actually got another number plate light shines down. So that'll actually shine on the number plate as well. Bit of an overkill, but it's there, may as well use it. So I'll pop that on like that. And around the other side here, we've just got a couple of um, nuts that go on the back, which are eight mil or five sixteenths in bananas. So we'll tighten them up as well. It's only plastic so we don't want to overdo it. So 
So I wouldn't use an, <coughs> excuse me, I wouldn't use an impact driver on these because you'll bust plastic out. So, all right. So once that's done, I'll wax Sikaflex in that hole there to stop water getting in and running down as well. So once that's done, we thread the other bit of our cable. into here. I'll put a grommet in there as well. Just reach it hopefully. There we go. So I'll pull all this through and then once we get to the end of it, I've got to join onto our number plate wire here and then thread the whole lot back through the tube and that'll go right up to the front of the trailer. So we run our cable through and now down the, to the pipe. So later we're going to thread the whole lot of this cable down the other way out to the bottom of the pipe. But in the meantime, I need to join on the number plate light onto here and then thread the whole lot back down in the tubing. Right, so we're just stripping this cable back here. All we're doing is splicing this cable, not actually breaking the connections. So you just carefully cut the outer insulation off like that, get rid of that. And what we're gonna do is splice into here. So our white wire on our trailer connectors here is the earth. So the black wire will go onto there. And the black wire on our trailer connector is actually the tail lights, which is what we want to have for when we light up the number plate lights. So the red wire is gonna to go to the black which sounds a bit dodgy, and the white wire is like that. So we'll just join them, splice them in, and then we can start pulling some cables through. So there we have it, we've just um, spliced into these cables. So we haven't actually cut these wires, the white wire, we've just spliced the insulation off and hooked our earth wire onto there. And same with this one, black's our tail light, and we've hooked our red, red number plate light positive wire onto that. We'll take them up now, get a bit of heat shrink over there, and then we can thread that down through the pipe and get this cable out the bottom where we can run to the front of the trailer. So before we thread our cable all the way through, we'll just check a few things. So we've got our little power pack here, just 12 volts. Um, negative ones on this particular connector is that one there. So white is the earth or negative in this case. So then we can check our wiring. So we'll put a red wire to the positive, which is a brake light. You can see that lights up, no worries. Um, black is our tail light. So it lights up and also a number plate is obviously working as well, so that's good. And while we're here, we'll just check the blinker. So that'll be the blinker. On, off, on, off, whatever. So that's all good. We'll just now pull the um, cable back through. So you can see here, I've got our joins all done up the top here. Now all I need to do is pull this loop through all the way down to where it needs to go. And that comes out the bottom and then run down the chassis. So this side's much more civilised. Uh, there's no joining of the cable at all because we've got no number plate light on this side. So it's just a matter of pretty much putting it, putting it on and um, bolting it on and then um, running the uh, cable down the tube and up to the front like the other one. So we've mounted our light here and we've run the cable down and put a little bit of loop down so any water gets on there drips off. Um, we've gone through a grommet both sides uh, up into the pipe and now we're gonna, just going to run the pipe down the... Uh, sorry, run the cable down the pipe out to the bottom. We'll put a cap over here, a rain cap later. But we'll leave the bottom of this pipe open so any water that does get in there somehow can just drain straight out. So the beauty of these cables, every time I buy lights now, I just get them pre-wired. Um, with a heap of cables, so there's no joins at all. So this will just go from here all the way to the front, front of the trailer. So when it's um, dropped in the ocean, back and in, you just will not have any moisture in the joins. There's a million different trail lights you can get. There's quite a few of those plug and play ones now, which have just got pre-wired little lights out here and little plug-in connectors, waterproof connectors. Um, I've had them before, um, even other boats we've bought have had them. They just don't last. Um, probably different if you're in fresh water, but give them a few years and they're just forever playing up. So, not a fan of them. So anyway, I've been buying these and they seem to last quite a while now. 
So a little bit tricky to see here, but this is where the cables come out the end of the pipe. I've put a grommet down the bottom here. And then there's an existing grommet in the bottom of the trailer chassis. So we've come out of there, through there, and then this is the old wiring of the trailer. So I'll just a matter of joining on the new stuff and I'll pull that back through the chassis. Might even tuck this up under here for a bit of extra protection up there. All right, so I've run the cable through the gaskets. Now it's just a matter of connecting the new wiring to the old one. That's why I left the wiring in the trailer, the old stuff. So we can actually use it as a pull cable. So we'll just tape on the new stuff to it. And then we can pull it through the chassis. Otherwise you've got to try and thread it through with a bit of wire or something like that. Makes, makes it a bit harder. So you just want to connect it enough so when it's pulled through, it won't come apart. So that should be okay. Here's the old cable coming through the front chassis here. So it's just a matter of grabbing it and, as you said, and then pulling it through, and that hopefully will pull in pull the old cable, the new cable through with it. Right, so I've got Isabel down the other end um, feeding the cable in as I'm pulling it from the front. So that's come out my end here now. Let me know when it's yeah. there. Are you there? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so I just got to pull the old cable through and that'll bring the new one with it. Right, so that's a new cable there. And I'll feed this through here as well. So that's a new cable out there and all the excess cable I'll loop up in the front here later. So I'll just leave it like that for a minute. So we've got our cables coming out through here now. Got some excess um, out the front. That's my daughter Isabel on the circular saw making even noise. So as I was saying, cable, all we're doing is putting a um, round, round plug connector on here. And that's pretty straightforward, I won't bore you with that. Um, you can get flat plugs, round plugs. I've currently got round, but I'm going to change over to the flat rectangle one soon. So I'll get that wired up and we'll hide away all our excess cable. And this is ready to go on the road. Right, so we just put our um, trailer plug on. Just gotta, we've um, just connected inside the appropriate wiring and we'll just put that on there like that. Put our rubber boot on the back and then tidy up the cabling and then get it to the length we need to plug into the car and then any excess cable we'll just loop and put back down the chassis. So if for any reason we rip one of these off at some point or it gets fully corroded, we've got enough cable we can chop a piece off and then rejoin another plug on later. That is pretty much it, she's all finished. Just need to get some safety gear put in it and we'll be able to give it a bit of a test run. Uh, still need a few things I have to do. Um, I'll give it a run first though. Got to connect up the bilge pump uh, to an outlet at the back here somewhere. Um, also have to put in skin fittings for this um, anchor well, which will be just a skin fitting there with a, with a tail hose running out to the side of the boat to drain any water out. So all right, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching guys. We'll um, get some safety gear in it and we'll take it down the river for a quick test run and then we'll um, do a bit more to it later. So I'll see you on the next one.